guys, Haley Timpley here with Inside the Box to preview this Saturday's matchup. The Hounds are on the road to face FC Cincinnati and they're coming off another pretty exciting win thanks to Toby Adewale's late goal in the second half versus Ottawa Fury FC in what was a pretty chippy match. Head coach Bob Lilly spoke highly of the team's composure and focus and hopefully they can continue that this weekend as they're getting ready to battle in one of the harder places in the league to play, Nippert Stadium, as the Cincinnati faithful are getting ready for an orange out. In FC Cincinnati's inaugural year in 2016, the Hounds traveled to Nippert as Cincy's very first orange out crowd broke a then USL attendance record. The Hounds would lose that match one to nothing and in their next two meetings at home, they drew 0-0 and then took a one to nothing loss in the season finale. Last year, these clubs met twice. First, the Hounds lost one to nothing at home. And last September, they traveled to Cincinnati to get a hard fought point at Nippert Stadium, drawing one to one and breaking their scoreless streak against Cincy. Cincy is once again off to a good start with a 2-1-1 one, one record, so it'll be a pretty tough opponent for the Hounds as they're seeking their third straight win and fifth straight shutout. And as they're getting ready to face a team that's been pretty hard to keep quiet in years past, I spoke with goalkeeper coach Hunter Gilstrap about how he's preparing his keepers to face the pressure this Saturday. So our backline has made sure that we haven't seen too many shots on net, but Cincinnati's kind of known for putting those shots out. Sure. So what can you say how, with how your goalkeepers have to stay focused with coming up on Saturday? Uh, well, I think we just have to prepare for it like it's, uh, you know, another new game. Uh, the last few games have been comfortable games, you know, for the goalkeepers. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a charged atmosphere. You know, that always helps sort of accelerate that process. So I don't know to say that we'll do anything necessarily any differently. I think these guys are getting into a rhythm and, you know, we try to keep them on that rhythm and keep them in a... Uh, headspace that has them prepared and, and ready to perform. Kickoff on Saturday is at 7 p.m. and head down to the official watch party destination, Smoke and Joe Saloon. The party starts at 5 p.m., but if you can't make that, you can tune into the Pittsburgh CW. And of course, make sure you're following all of our social media accounts so you don't miss any of the action. And don't worry, the Hounds are back at home April 28th next Saturday to face Atlanta United 2. It's National Superhero Night, and it's also Pediatric Orthopedic Awareness Night presented by Allegheny Health Network. So make sure you have your ticket for that because you don't to miss any of the fun for this week's Inside the Box. I'm Haley Timpley and I'll see you guys next week.